James Connors hurt. Now what? We obviously don't know how bad the James Conner injury is yet, um, but I think it's safe to assume he's out at least one or two games by the look of that injury. Um, we'll know more tomorrow, so you know, expect a little bit more concrete information to come out. But Jalen Samuels instantly inserted into the top 10 running back conversation moving forward for the remainder of the season. I know we just went through this with Spencer Ware. High hopes for Spencer Ware, and he kind of laid an egg uh, this week. And, you know, don't write him off either because that Kansas City offense, if you remember, got Kareem Hunt going pretty slowly uh, in the beginning of the season. So they have a lot of mouths to feed. They can change game plans. And, and obviously losing Cream Hunt, they might have changed that game plan and just didn't factor in a lot of Spencer Ware this week. But don't write him off. But Jalen Samuels, I think, is even an even better situation. Um, that offense is obviously just like Kansas City built to produce running back numbers, to produce a top 10 running back if they give that, that starter um, enough touches, and I think they will because they don't have a lot of options. They could bring somebody in like C.J. Anderson or whoever, but I think Jalen Samuels instantly a top 10 running back moving forward. If he's available, obviously grab him in your league. You should already own him because he, with James Conner, was our number two bull prediction before the Le'Veon Bell holdout was ever even taken seriously. James Conner and Jalen Samuels together, the duo, was our number two bull prediction. Not trying to pat ourselves in the back, but just kind of uh, emphasizing the fact that Jalen Samuels was just as a big a part of that prediction as James Conner was. They are equally talented in different ways. And Jalen Samuels, a great receiving back, a shifty, speedy guy, uh, is going to do wonders in that offense.